KB2MXV here and uh, I wanted to put a little video together to show you how you can add a new repeater to your DMR code plug. And when I say new repeater, I'm not talking about analog repeater, I'm talking about a DMR uh, repeater. So I'm using N0GSG. Uh, he creates a DMR contact manager. And what I'm going to do is I'm using an Anytone radio. So the first thing I need to do from my CPS is do uh, a tools and export to DCF file. Contact manager won't open an RDT file uh, for the Anytone. So just do an export uh, to DCF. So in contact manager, we want to open my code plug. We want to open code plug. And I'm going to grab the DCF file I created uh, from within the Anytone CPS and I'm going to open that file. Now that my code plug is open, I want to click on the channels tab. And I mostly set all my repeaters up the same way my DMR repeaters, where I have a list of talk groups that I put into them, especially Brandmeister, where you can really run anything you like. So I'm going to scroll down to a repeater here uh, called MXV, which stands for KB2 MXV repeater. And what you want to do is highlight all the channels that you want to create duplicate for your new repeater that you're going to enter. So I'm going to click on the last channel in the that start with MXV if you can see the channel names here MXV that's what I normally do when I set these uh, channels up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one channel I'm going to hit shift and I'm going to highlight all my channels that start with MXV because I want to duplicate all these channels for the new uh, new repeater. Okay, so now that you have all the channels highlighted, you want to right click on them and you want to select mass change. And that's going to bring up a little uh, screen where you're going to make all the changes for your new channels that you want to run. Okay. The first thing you want to do here is you want to check this box right there that says make a copy of the original channel before applying changes. If you don't check that box, what happens is all those channels that I highlighted, these changes will be applied to. And what we want to do, we don't want to change that information on that repeater. We want to just copy all those channels and add channels to our code plug, not uh, edit. This utility is also good. Let's say you have a repeater all set up and you realize that uh, the repeater is on, code, on color code 2 instead of color code 1. This is a way for you to quickly change all the color codes for your channel. But back to uh, adding channels. So you want to make sure that make a copy of the original channels is checked. So let's go to the top. I want to change the receive frequency of all these channels that I'm going to make. Because the new repeater is going to be on 440.000. And we want to change the transmit frequency. So we want to put a checkbox. Everything's going to be changed uh, based on what checkboxes you select. Otherwise it'll keep the old information. So the new transmit frequency is going to be 445 dot zero 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 zero. Uh, you know what? I'm going to make every channel medium power. Uh, my offset is going to be a plus and I want to check that box. Now remember how I have uh, all my channels starting with MXV for this repeater? So I'm going to check off replace text and I'm going to just type in here the letters or the characters that I want to have changed in the channel name field. So I'm going to say 
MXV, I want all the MXVs to be replaced with, um, how about XYZ? And you can uh, select to add additional text in front of your existing channels if you didn't use any prefixes or you could append text to the end of the channel name. I'm not going to do any of that, so I'm not. I'm going to leave these unchecked. If you have a, uh, a scan list you want to use, you can uh, check that and go down to a scan list. I'm not going to do that. Uh, I want to change the emit type. Uh, instead of always, I want to use uh, a color code free. And I want to change all my timeout timers to 180 seconds. And that's all that I'm going to do now for this uh, video. But if you scroll down here, you can see changes of digital DMR channels. So here you could put a checkbox and change the channels to a different time slot, different color codes, and all that good stuff. So once you have your settings done, you want to hit commit changes and if you notice I get a message that says 47 channels have been updated what it really should say is 47 channels have been created because we checked that little box so when I hit OK it brings me back to the contact manager and notice all my MXV channels my original MXV channels nothing's changed here everything remained the same but when you scroll down to the bottom of your channel list, look what we got. We have all the new channels, and instead of them saying MXV, they're all XYZ. So now that your channels are in your code plug, what you can do from here is, uh, you know, you can go to zones, you can add a new zone, and I could call the new zone XYZ. And I could scroll here to my channel list, go all the way down to the bottom. And now I can grab all my XYZ channels. And you can just start double clicking on them and they'll be added to the zone. All right, so once all your channels are over, you get the hint there. All you want to do is hit the Save button. And that RDT file is, I'm sorry, the DCF file is now saved. You want to hit OK, and you can close down Contact Manager. Open up your CPS, go File, Open, and open that DCF file that you just created, and dump it into your radio. Okay, hope that helps. KB2MXV.